Ready? I think I'm close. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm Gary. Our top story today is California Proposition 19 goes into effect tomorrow, April 1st. That's right. So we just give you an update because I know we've had a lot of questions about it and a lot of um, people have been calling us, DMing us, talking to our clients, so we thought we'd give you another update on Proposition 19. Yes, and I have to read the disclaimer. I want to make sure I get this correct, so I'm going to read this. First of all, we are not CPAs or attorneys. Uh, we're going to give you information as we understand it. Get with your CPA or your attorney or both of them right away to discuss your situation on how Proposition 19 will affect you. Yes, it has two main parts. The first part of the new proposition is transferring your tax base. So if you want to move and transfer your tax base, uh, that is part one. I'll go through part one. Go ahead. Is that all right with yeah, you? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay, good, part one. Part one is if you, let, let me give you an example on part one. Part one is if you bought your house for $400,000 a number of years ago, you sold it for $900,000, and then you wanted to move your tax base to a house that you bought for $1 million, then your tax base is going to be your $400,000, your original purchase, and then plus the $100,000, that's the difference between the $900,000 you sold it for and the million dollars on your new property. So that's where that $100,000 comes in. So your new tax base would be $500,000. Is that the way you understand it? That's right. So what if I sold my house for $900,000 and bought one for $700,000? Well, then you would get to keep your $400,000 tax base, but it wouldn't go down because you spent $200,000 less. So you still just transfer over your $400,000 tax base to your $700,000 property and all stays the same. That's right. So the, when you can do this, you have to be over 55 years old. With the new Proposition 19, you, you can do it up to three times. This is if you, uh, and also if you've been a victim of a fire or you're severely disabled, then you can take advantage of, of the, this tax base transfer. Now, Proposition 19 basically replaces Proposition 60 and 90. So the simplest of all formulas on Proposition 19 is We'll take the example again. You bought your house a number of years ago for $400,000. let us say you sell it for $900,000, and then you buy a place for $900,000 or less. Basically, your $400,000 tax base just moves straight over. So that's a very simple math when you do it like that, but it does work more than that, right? Right, that's right. Um, yes, so, so leave so, it at that. Yeah, I don't want to get right? confused. <laughs> okay, that's yes, right. you can go up to a million over your purchase price. Right, one of the other things, the new proposition, you can move it to any county in California. So it used to be only a handful of counties, now it's the whole state. So you can move anywhere you want in the state and transfer your tax base. Correct, that's right. Mm -hmm. Is that Thank right? you. <laughs> yes, so, so it, part two, where yes. this gets stickier, is when the estate taxes. So I'm not even gonna talk about what it used to be because it's just confusing. What it is now, the only way that you can transfer a property to your family members is if it's your primary residence and your family member uh, is child is going to be using it as a primary residence. So in that scenario, you can take your tax base and you can add a million dollars to it. So if your tax base was $400,000, you add a million dollars to it, that makes it a million four, um, then that's the, what you have to work with. I'll read my my example here just to keep me on, on track here. So if at the time that the person passes away, your parents pass away, and the property is worth $2 million, then the difference is going to be between the million four and the $2 million uh, dollars is going to be your new tax base. So $600,000 is your new tax base. And that's only if you're going to live in it as a primary residence. So that's where it gets a little bit sticky. So things like vacation homes, family farms, commercial property, all those things that um, previously they'd step up the basis, that's all gone. You only get to take advantage of the property tax if you pass it down to a child uh, who's going to live in it. 
and that's one child. One child. One child. So if you have three children, two children out, one children gets the new well, tax. Well, one person, one of the children has to live in it to keep the tax base. Right. Usually when they're that age, they all three still don't want to live together like when they were little tots. <laughs> it's for sure. Got all those things in there. And one of the things you want to keep in mind is that you are going to owe as an heir that property tax, the new property tax, from the date of death. So usually it takes you know a family a while to get things sorted out and straightened out. So don't be surprised when you owe the tax base of the new amount from the time of death. So sometimes it can take you know quite a little while to get moved on. Um, you're going to have a tax bill coming after you. Yeah, it used to be you under Prop 13, you just transferred over the house to one of the children or one of your heirs, and they kept the same tax base so there was no big surprises now if you bought a house years ago let's say and there's houses in our area that were you know a hundred or two hundred thousand now they're a million so they're going to get a tax bill for the current market value at time of death that's going to make a major change in what's going on as far as in the future on that property and on the tax All right so we highly recommend you make an appointment with your trust att attorney uh, and talk to them because even if you set up your trust um, from tomorrow backwards, uh, you may have some stipulations in your trust that have totally changed based on this Proposition 19. So please uh, check out with your professionals that your plan, your estate plan, your will, your trust is all still going to be beneficial to your heirs based on this new change. Yeah, spring cleaning this year not only includes cleaning the garage and the closets and the kitchen, it also includes getting out all your trust paperwork and going over that and going right. over it with your tax and, and legal professionals to make sure that it's current with today's new laws. Yes, and be careful with transferring t uh, title. Transferring title to your kids uh, may or may not be the way you want to go. So again, please talk to your professionals about that before you do anything. Yes, always get you know professional advice. You sure don't want to come back and have a mortgage due on sale clause or something that comes up where now all of a sudden you owe a lot more taxes and a lot more money than what you were probably in the first place trying to save a lot of taxes and a lot of money. So I know that people have been waiting to maybe sell their property so they could transfer their tax base because uh, they want to move up in their purchase price. So please give us a call. We are happy to talk with you about all of your options and explain this um, Proposition 19 to your specific situation. So give us a call and let's talk about that. Um, and then on other uh, news... Which goes into effect tomorrow, April 1st, and I think it's kind of ironic that it falls on April Fool's Day. I know, very much so. And it's unfortunately, it's not a joke. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's the real thing. This is not April Fool's. Uh -huh. uh, April Fool's Day is tomorrow. Right. So uh, I was just reading a few headlines, and one of them that caught my eye, because we've talked about this in the stepped-up basis, um, is that the Senate Democrats proposed a bill yesterday, it happens to be called Step Up, where they're going to eliminate all of that stepped-up basis on your, not just your real estate, but on your stock portfolios and everything, because how it, it is now, if you pass away and you leave some stocks and real estate and things to your kids, they would get the stepped up value. They'd get the market value at your time of death, not the value when you purchase those assets. Um, they want to wipe that away and make it due on death. So if you had, say you bought a stock for a dollar and when you die it's worth ten dollars, they're gonna, um, they want to charge you tax on the unearned gain, like the nine dollars you gain there at time of death. Your heirs would be responsible for paying that tax. So that will um, rock uh, everyone's uh, estate planning, but that was proposed as a bill yesterday, so I just want to make sure ev everyone's aware of what's going on. Right, they, it was proposed. It's not law yet. Right. I, I would think it's you know a long ways away from law, but sometimes these bills move very quickly, and if you have a stepped-up basis like we do now, it really is excellent for the people that are inheriting right. your property once you're gone. Right. Because let's say you had a house that you paid a hundred thousand for. And now it's worth a million, let's say a million one, and it immediately, they have to pay the tax on the difference between the hundred thousand and the million one. So they owe the taxes on one million dollars. Then if it's stocks and bonds, mutual funds, they're all going to fall under this bill. 
if it goes through. Now, this is they're proposing a lot of radical changes in the tax laws. The tax laws always change, uh, not usually this radically. Right. Another one that will be uh, dr dramatic is if they change the capital gains tax. Right now, it's 20% of a long-term capital gain on an asset sold. They want to change that to your regular income tax. So that would, again, be another huge increase in the taxes that you're paying um, just on those couple of things. There's a few more points. Right. I, mean, um, I just want to reiterate, re reiterate uh, that uh, we're not CPAs, we're not attorneys, we're just talking in broad brushstrokes here. You definitely want to get, get with your professional. But these changes that they're proposing and that are going to happen tomorrow affect us all right away. That's right. So if you want more information on the Proposition 19 in California, there's some good information on the California State Board of Equalization. Just go on their website, just Google that, and there's some charts and some things in there that uh, will might a answer your questions. But if not, we are happy to. Um, and one of the, the quotes I have here is that it's basically a billion dollar tax increase to California. So it's always amazing to me when people vote to, to increase their taxes, but that's what happened here. <laughs> but being here, being there, sooner or later it adds up to big money. Right, and crazy. So if you're thinking about selling, real estate is definitely still a screaming seller's market out there. We don't have enough inventory for the demand of the buyers in the marketplace. So if you are thinking about making a move up, down, or moving out of state, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about your situation. Absolutely. That's right. GaryLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thanks, guys. That's a wrap.